Okay, we have looked at um, function values. We've looked at f of x's. We've looked at f of a specific number, um, especially whenever we were given pictures. But now we won't always be given a picture. We're going to need to know how to do these things given just an equation. So let's practice on um, finding out things from an equation. Here we have f of x equals negative 3x squared plus 5x. And part A says for us, uh, it says, is the point negative 1, 2 on the graph of f? Well, keep in mind that this is a point, that's what they told us. So this x value is negative 1 and the y value is 2. Now, if this point is on this curve or on this, this graph, then that means I should be able to use negative 1 in place of x and I should get in place of y a 2 if that's true. So let's plug it in and see if those work. Is negative 2 for a y value equal to, oops, negative 3, don't forget our sign, negative 3 times negative 1 squared plus 5 times negative 1. So, as we simplify this, that'll be negative 2 equals negative 1 squared is positive 1 times negative 3 would be negative 3 and then plus 5 times minus 1 would be minus 5. So is negative 2 equal to negative 3 minus 5 would be negative 8. Is that a true statement? And no, it is not. So that tells us that this point, negative 1, 2, is not on the graph of f. All right, the next part, part b, says if x is negative 2, what is f of x? And then it says what point is on the graph, all right? Well, there again, remember, f of x is just a fancy way of saying y. So they're telling us an x value and we're going to find the y that goes with that. So back up in our original equation. And that means that I'm just going to write it as y equals negative 3 times negative 2 squared plus 5 times negative 2. Okay, so negative 2 squared would be positive 4 times negative 3 would be negative 12 and then 5 times negative 2 would be a negative 10. So y would equal negative 22. So then we should probably should write that in more proper notation. f of x would equal negative 22 since that's what they technically asked us. Then don't forget it said what point is on the graph of f. Well, when we used a negative 2 for an x value, we found negative 22 for the y that goes with it. So our point looks like negative 2, negative 22.